I'll try to show you how to use Discord Way. Discord Way is a great way to run through PvE areas. Discord Way makes use of three necromancer heroes which all make use of the elite skill Discord. Discord deals a lot of armor ignoring damage. This um a lead skill only requires you to have a condition and a hex spell on target foo. Well, that isn't a big problem if you take it. For the first, for example, this hero has a feebling blood, but I'll be showing you the belts built soon. The scoreway is all about doing a lot of damage and you won't need any monk anymore. For the hard areas I recommend you to take another monk, but those heroes heal really great. They use a ritual lost hero as um, I mean secondary profession, so they can heal very well with man, body and soul, spirit light, things like that. Um, another thing, you got a protector hero and some kind of minion bomb. Well, it really works great. You can also um, put in different skills. You can just play a bit with them. The basic is just uh, discord and some heal if you like. You can also make full damage of them, but I recommend you to make heal so you won't have to take additional monks. These builds don't require any micromanaging at all. Well, for the harder times I recommend you to uh, micromanage your heroes a bit because that um, quite helps your party out. Um, well, let's take a look at the builds. Uh, you probably n are not interested in my own build, this is just for Jade Quai for having fun with lots of interrupt, but that doesn't really matter. Well, let's look at the first Necromancer hero. It doesn't matter which one you take as long as they're all level 20. Um, well, the first skill you always need in every build is Discord. Then you take Animate Shambling Horror and Feebling Blood, Shadow of Fear, Protective for Skill Eye, Man, Body and Soul, Recovery and Flash of My Flesh. For the other Necromancer here, you take Discord again, Putted Bell, Animate Bone Minions, Death Nova, Protective Spirit, Aegis, Drain of Sorrow and Cure Hex. Aegis is pretty optional because you won't always need it and it's, um, yeah, I find it not very useful. Well, it's great in, um, lots of melee areas, but you can also put another protect spell in it, just, let's just we'll take a look like uh, dismiss condition for additional condition removal, you can also take shielding hands for some nice protection, spirit bond would also work great, well um, the another necromancer here will use his discord, again, 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 animate shaman horror, horror, weapon of warding, protect for scale eye, Spirit Light, Man, Body and Soul, Life, Flesh of My Flesh. Well, these are pretty the builds and uh, they are not very hard to uh, set up. I just got them from a friend so they might look different than the ones on PVX Wiki. The attributes for the first Necromancer are 16 Death Magic, 9 Soul Reaping, 5 Curses and 9 Restoration Magic. Of course, you can do this without the runes, but it's better with the runes. This would be uh, 12 Death Magic and this would be 8 Soul Reaping. For the second Necromancer, also the same thing about the runes. So, 16 Death Magic, 9 Soul Reaping, 5 Healing Prayers, 9 Protection Prayers. The third Necromancer, 14 Death Magic, 9 Soul Reaping, 12 Restoration. This is very important because this is your quite yeah, you, your main heal. I know Master of Wise Whispers, I don't know how to say, also heals, but Livia, in this case, a third necromancer, uses a lot of heals. Another thing which um, I saw on PvX Wiki, you can use mag Masochism or whatever in this slot instead of my Flash of my flesh. Well, um, I don't care. I uh, prefer some resurrection, so uh, you can always be rest when wiped out. As I just said, your own build doesn't really matter as long as you uh, take some spammable conditions and hexes. Well, even without you, don't really have a problem uh, because um, the necros do lots of hexes and condition themselves. It is recommended to take them yourselves because you can kill things 
yeah, it just beats up things. Um, a common build is something like Assassin's Promise, um, as far as I remember, Assassin's Aber Vanguard, Assassin's Support, um, Finish Him, and something like you Move Like Dwarf. This, um, yeah, helps to speed things up while vanquishing. Another thing I wanted to say is, in my other guides, you can look at um, the guide to Hero Spirit Raid. Right? This is also a great way to vanquish areas. I recommend you to use that belt for, um, yeah, for spirit spam, uh, things like that. It's uh, is uh, pretty. I prefer it uh, both um, when it's about hard areas. I take a Discord way when it's about fast and short and easy things. Discord was great in hard mode, anyways. But just um. Just look which one would be uh, fit best to a real spirit spam can really help your party out. Also, um, double spirit spam has some support re um, spirits, whatever. They do something like interrupt uh, and things like that. Just um, take a look at them if you're about to vanquish or do hard mode stuff. Yeah, let's try out these builds. Um, we're going at the eyes of the nameless again because this is great. It doesn't really give. Well, there we are. Let's um, kick some of these practice targets. I do this um, necromancer skill just um, to fulfill these uh, conditions, like uh, hexes and one condition. So it doesn't really matter which target you take. Just take this one, this one, and just spam some spells. Look. Well, I'm just spamming this shit because, um, yeah, so the heals will. It's, um, I recommend you to, um, always hold control so uh, they know which to, they know to attack which target. Otherwise, they will attack some, um, yeah, they will attack uh, something else. As you see, it doesn't really matter which target you take as long as you, um, control them to attack this. It will die very fast. They will make minions. Which gave them nearly um, endless, unlimited energy because the minions die, and uh, yeah, that activates soul reaping. Well, for the harder bosses, I still recommend you to use Hero Spirit Way. Again, some tests here. Uh, I'll let them just attack, just attack it, guys. Um, I see it does not as fast as just. You can also use the uh, special belt, which is um, common use for this. It's you can uh, find it on PVX, and it will also be in the description below here. Doesn't matter. Well, just take and do your thing. I cannot say any more things. It's just great builds because Necromancers have the main attribute of Soul Reaping which gives them endless energy and things like that. Well, the minions um, also serve as bombing. It's a great way to bomb minions. Brutus Bell also does a lot of damage. They are always doing that. Well, let's um. Let's take a look if he uh, respond. Well, just the right belt, as I said, like a hundred thousand times. Well, just enjoy the belt, I just, just said it like a hundred. Another thing about the weapons. Well, it doesn't really matter. Just find out.